Hello everyone and welcome to my channel and welcome to part six of Alan Wake Remastered. And I believe this will be the final episode. So last time we were with the sheriff and going through the town, they finally believe us and we were on our way to see Weaver, the uh, crazy old lady in town who has been dealing with this darkness for years. So she's not so crazy or we're crazy as well. Well, I don't think we know yet. <laughs> but anyways, uh, at the end we, uh, Alan was able to find like this shoebox with the clicker and a piece of paper that it was a, regarding his childhood. I think it was written by Thomas Zane. So I, is that his dad? I'm not, I don't know. Maybe I'm not understanding correctly. I'm not too sure. But we're going to start this episode off uh, two years earlier in New York and Mr. Wake here is woken up with a hangover. So we're going to start off there. So thank you guys so much for being here and thank you guys so much for supporting me and let's get into it. <laughs> All right, get sunglasses and painkillers. Do you uh, do you want to know what's really good for hangovers? Uh, cold water, and I don't mean drinking it. I mean like jumping into it or dunking your head into it. I mean I haven't been hungover in many years, but oh, there's your sunglasses, your sunnies. Uh, the sunglasses made the world look bearable. Now I could keep my eyes open without feeling like a vampire in the sun. And some painkillers. I wasn't sure I'd make it out there without some painkillers. Ah. The pills worked fast. The prospect of being awake started to seem bearable again. Hey. This is actually a nice bathroom. <laughs> like a nice uh shower separate from the from the uh tub. In the old apartment I used to live in. Uh, I used to have a washer and dryer in my bathroom as well, but it was, they were really tiny. <laughs> it was really small and I had to replace them. It was really hard to find ones that fit. There was a message waiting for me on the machine. All right. You have one new message. Ow! Are you still asleep? Wakey, wakey! You should have your show on your table. If Alice wasn't too mad to record it, that she called me earlier and really chewed me out. Yeah, yeah, we went a little overboard last night, mm. but parties are a part of this business. Al, look, I'm saying this is your friend. She's not doing your career any favors by trying to run your life like that, okay? I'll talk to you later, Al. Watch the show. talking with the best-selling author Alan Wake about his new book The Sudden Stop. Yeah, good read. Go buy it. No, no, it is a good read. Look, uh, I'm gonna be honest here. Is that wise? No, mm. but I'm gonna do it anyway. I got people who give me the lowdown on books. I'm a busy guy. But this one, I actually read from cover to cover. I mean, I'm, I'm a big fan. Wow, thanks. Now, this might be a spoiler for those who haven't read the book yet. Based on the sales figures, the two people out there who haven't read the book yet. <laughs> but this last book is all about the death of the main character, the hard-boiled New York detective, Alex Casey. Now, there's been a lot of outrage about this. Why the hell did you kill Casey? What the hell were you thinking, man? Good riddance. <laughs> no, seriously, though. Seven years and six books is a long time. He was a gloomy guy to spend all your working hours with, and it was a good run. But it's time to explore new things. My next book will be a departure from the old for me. You selfish bastard, always thinking of yourself. Now, you've certainly given us a lot of entertainment over the years. Now that you've yeah, I don't want to hold that anymore. He was a gloomy guy, never had much luck with his love life with the ladies. Was that autobiographical in any way? Yeah, 
no kidding. Casey's lady friends tended to die on him. With Casey, it was all about his pain. No, nothing autobiographical about that. I'm a happily married man. My wife is my muse. Well, congratulations. That's great to hear. So, how's the publicity tour been treating you? Good, great. But I gotta say, I'm glad to be back home in New York. Boy, you've certainly been on the news a lot lately. Lots of parties and, um... You got into a fight with some paparazzi. Oh, man. Well, that guy was really in my face. I lost my temper. I know that wasn't cool. Uh, you are famous for that temper. <laughs> well, I did also write several books. <laughs> well, your latest novel is called The Sudden Stop, and it's in bookstores now. Go get it. That means the two of you out there who haven't bought it yet. Ladies and gentlemen, that's all we have for you tonight. I want to thank all our guests for the evening. Alan Wake, Sam Lake. Once more, do the face for a Sam. <laughs> and our musical guests, Poets of the Fall. Thank you. At least I've been funny. I told myself I could live with that. Hey, you watch the show? I didn't say anything stupid, if that's what you want to know. Okay, Grumpy. You want to ask are you going to start with me about drinking now? You know what? Go back to sleep, Alan. What? Now you can't even talk to me? Well, this morning I was angry because you said you'd be home at midnight and you showed up at 7 a.m. and passed out in mid-sentence. <laughs> now I'm over it. Are you angry? This goddamn tour. It's gotten out of hand. Oh, honey. It's almost over, right? We can get back to normal. Then you can start writing again. I'm sorry, honey. Alan, you're not thinking straight. Just take a shower and go back to bed, huh? Yeah, you're right, honey. I'm sorry. Once this is over, let's go away together. A vacation. Just you and me. Some peace and quiet. Mm hmm. Somehow, the clicker was the key to the cabin. I had to return to Cauldron Lake to save Alice. I'm going back to the lake to finish this. I'm going to write an ending to the story in the manuscript on my own terms, to make it all right. Why can't you just write it here? The last page is still in the typewriter. I need to read it first. Everything needs to be just right. Zane tried to cut some corners, and it didn't end well. Okay, ready when you are. I'm sorry, Sarah, but I need to do this alone. Barry, take her gun. Miss Weaver, close the door when I leave. <clears throat> Good luck, Al. Give me your headlamp. See you later. You're not gonna need your headlamp. I need it now. All right, let's do this. When I got out, it was warm and sunny. Oh. I'd flick the switch of the clicker. Had it done this? I didn't stop to question it. I had to take advantage of the sunlight to get to the lake. On Zane's page, I'd stood on the rim of Cauldron Lake, about to use the clicker. That's where I was headed. surrounded by the beauty of the Pacific Northwest landscape. It was hard not to let doubt creep in one last time. I could still chalk everything up to a dream, a delusion. I had enough imagination to make up something like this, having been in the cabin all this time, trapped in a story inside my head, gone mad from grief over Alice's death like Hartman had claimed. There would be no way of knowing. I told myself it didn't really matter. My course was set. Go. Visit the haunted witch's ladle. It 
It's fine. I own the road. It's okay. I'll just drive in the middle. Is there anything over here for me? Mm, maybe. Let's just see. Yeah. All right, batteries, I'll take it. I think that's probably it. for driving, I guess? The darkness had touched me. There was a link between us, always would be. I could feel its presence again, getting closer. Okay. Oh, can I drive these? No? Huh. Darn. Yes, yes, yes. Too tired to run. Oh, at least I have the big lamp. Get out of here, bird! The Dark Presence was no longer trying to capture the rider so he could create the ending it wanted. The rider knew too much. He was too strong. And he carried a weapon left behind by Thomas Zane, something that could hurt it. Now, the darkness was doing everything in its power to simply stop the rider from ever reaching Cauldron Lake and the dark place it came from. Yes. I like that all these vehicles are just here for me. Trying to see if there's anything that there's like on the ground or in the cars. I don't see anything. Cars moving. Nope, no, nope, don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. Anybody home? What was that? Based on the signature in the motel register, Agent Nightingale had stayed here in room number two. Ah. Yes. 
us outside. Okay. Oh. The Majestic Motel. General information, refund $100 security deposit. Um. No loud music, no pets. Okay. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Whoops. It's not what I wanted. Oh no. Stop! <laughs> I don't know if you want that thermos that's been uh, sitting in a bathroom, but. Uh, okay, number two. Whoa, whoa. Gimme. Five flashbangs now. What was that? This had obviously been the room where Agent Nightingale had stayed when he hadn't been busy harassing me. Drinking, I see. Look after yourself, man. Am I supposed to drive a car over this and that's why this thing rolled that that car rolled backwards? <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Can't get in any of these? Things? No? Alright. Well, I had to try. I had to try. Oh, there's a car over there for me. Alright. Oh, why would it put it? Why would it roll just so I can't use this ramp to drive my car over? Because that just seems like it'd be fun. All right, there's probably nothing over there for me. Anything over there for me? No. Really? All right. Oh. Okay. I wasn't supposed to come this way, I don't think. Can I get up here? Just jump through, damn it. I think I was not supposed to.
Go, 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 go. I'm gonna die again. Damn it. Shit. Come on, let me through. the whole time <laughs> damn oh and the car's waiting for me right here i could have just jumped over oh well i'm here now we're all good okay get me away from that stupid bridge Through this. <laughs> oh. Oh, yes, baby, give me these. Okay. Couple hiccups along the way. That's okay. Oh, 
shit. to it again. On shotgun ammo too? Oh no. Okay, let's go. Read this in peace. The Cauldron Lake was a graveyard of things the lake had claimed in one way or another over the decades. The dark presence brought them up in its wake, scattering the rotten waterlogged hull of an old boat here, the remains of a long ago crashed airplane there, trees shattered under the impacts. The earth groaned. It didn't even notice. Okay, drive this? Yep. All right, let's do it. Can I just plow right through this? Yep. <laughs> sure can. I don't know what's up ahead, though. Oh. Okay. In the end, Barry wasn't going to shoot Sarah. They both knew that. What? Once she had no chance of catching up to Wake, Barry gave up the gun and sat down on the floor, shielding his face from the merciless glare of the well-lit room. I don't think I'm ever going to see him again, he said in a weak voice. Sarah didn't have it in her to be mad at him. Besides, he was probably right. Okay, so let's... Where was I supposed to go then? If it wasn't this way. Up here. Shit, whoopsies. We're here. gonna come alive. What? There was an arrow pointing this direction. What? Where is it? Right here. I know I heard. 
hurt you. So rude. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Wow. Okay. Uh, actually, hold on. Let's... Hold on, hold on. Excuse me. Sorry. All visitors must see the yard manager. You must sign a liability waiver before entering the yard. If you're looking for a specific part, ask for it first. For you pull it, you must bring your own tools. Wear protective clothing, warning, junk piles may shift. Hazardous area. Gotcha. Where are you? I hear you grumbling. Is that it? Do your worst. Was this a rifle? No. No, thank you. I will take the other shotgun, though. The uh, pump action, I believe it is. Uh... Oh, it just goes outside. Okay. Do that in one second. open this. Oh, I didn't mean to use that. I didn't mean to use that at all. Where are you guys? Damn. I don't know where you guys are, but... Let's go. I can hear them walking around. to get out? Yeah, look at this moving around. Zane cut its heart out, but it didn't die. The thing that wore Barbara's face kept crooning sweet nothings sugar-laced with poison. He put on the suit, untied the monster from the chair. The thing in his arms thrashed weakly, but he held fast. He stepped outside, off the pier, and into the dark water, a sinking pinprick of light descending toward a bottom that never came. Okay, what's this? Oh, 
Well, you know what? Let's reload this, even though. And, okay, start. None of that, none of that. Yep. Oh my god. Wait, what did that do exactly? I go though. Just trash my truck. through there. Okay. Ruined my goddamn truck. There we go. back in the well-lit room. I'd acted as if I knew what I was doing. I didn't. I was operating on the shifting logic of a dream. I had to fight my way to the lake through the horrors of the night. I had to flick an old battered light switch imbued with childhood magic. I had to write a happy ending to a horror story. I had to save my wife from the dark prison she was being held in. And we will, hopefully. Follow. Yes, sir. Follow.
progress. Uh, pump action. What, how many do I have? I have 15 right now. 21. Yep, that's good. Alright. Uh, but give me these. And that. Okay. Turn that on right now. Why not? Sure, I'm in for some I will trouble. I never give her to you. My flares, damn it. My flare guns. <laughs> oh, that's all I have? Alright. Okay, there's a lot of my flashbangs there. Okay. We all good now? I found myself in was unlike anything I could ever have imagined. It wasn't solid. 
It flowed. It was conceptual and subjective. For someone else, an artist in another field, it would have been very different. I could sense the story of the manuscript all around me, the words and ideas floating in the air, poised to become real. Actually, I'll have these open, I guess. Or equipped, I should say. Not open. <laughs> I could see Mirror Peak in the distance. That's where Cauldron Lake was. Oh, those birds. That's far, though. Like, really far. Gotcha, I gotcha. This spells bad news bears all over it. Yep, there they come. Oh, there's so many of them. Great. I thought I saw a page over here somewhere, but I guess not. Let me just double check. <laughs> little things, aren't they? Black uh, oil puddles, whatever they are. Whew. Screw you. Come on.
Where are you? out of shotgun shells. Okay, we good? only have three okay oh I have oh, 12 flares all right time to start using those <laughs> and seven okay so how come I can't pick up this there we go oh I need shotgun shells, not revolver ammo. ammo. Whoa. Oh my god. Okay, not going that way. Where are you? Where are you? Waste my ammo on that fool, though. Shit. Oh. I hate you guys. Go 
one here? We're supposed to go with something in there. Oh well. Too late now. Uh, I guess I'm going the right way. This way? Jesus! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. None. <laughs> yes. Did it. Okay, now I'm good. Holy shit. She's throwing whole trains at me. How rude. What was that? Oh, oh, oh my god. Jesus Christ. Stop it. Throwing whole boats at me? Where are you coming from? Whoa, 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 whoa. Where are you? Come here. Yeah, slide down there. Oh, it's big ass boat here. Yeah, come here. Come here. Oh shit, I didn't even see those oil spill patches. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, they're filled with darkness. We know that. Oh, nice fire here. Darkness controls the taken. Yeah. Uh, wait, where am I going? Oh, right here. Oh no, this. All right. What am I? What am I doing? What are we doing? All right, we're good. We're good. We're good.
whoa, 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 I didn't even see you! Holy moly! Whoa, 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 whoa! Being chicken shit, I know. All right, well, you're kind of annoying, you know, so. Oh, there you are. that really bug me. Okay, so now I need to go up here. Wait, no, 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 no! Oh! I thought I meant like used to open. Damn it. <laughs> my bad, my bad. After Zane had gone, I stood alone in the shifting dream that was the dark place. I had to find a way to the cabin. I'd written myself a way through this place in the manuscript. I followed the idea of a path. I'd written myself across the ocean that blocked my way, and with that, there was a bridge to the island beyond. The idea of the cabin flickered in the underwater darkness. I willed the cabin to be real, and it was. over here? Jeez. 
All right, all right, all right. Let's just go this way. Oh my god. She never loved you.
Oh my god. A bad dream. It was just another nightmare. No. Everything's fine. You're home. It wasn't a dream. Everything's fine. Turn the lights on. Turn the lights on. Shh, baby. The power's out. There's no light. Oh my God. Go back to bed, and I'll make you forget all about your fear. My fear? It's your fear. Why aren't you afraid? You're not Alice. Turn the lights on now. Where's the clicker? What did you do with it? Alan, honey, you're still one foot in a dream. You're not making any sense. Come back to bed. Find the clicker. Whoa. Alan, you're scaring me now. Come back to bed. Have you taken your pills? Do you want me to call Dr. Hartman? I read your manuscript. It's brilliant. Departure is your best work yet. You're a genius. I'm so proud of you. Come back to bed. We'll talk more about it in the morning. Clicker. Come back to bed, Alan. Come back. Whoa! What? Oh my god. Use the clicker. I'm sorry, it's a bad spot, but just, just give me one second. Hold on. Okay, sorry about that. All right. Is this it? Shopping. Can't even read that one, but bird. And thermos. And barrel. Bird again, phone. that I'm leaving you. What? I'm leaving you, Alan. I met someone. <gasps> what? I'm in love with someone else. Alice? No, what do you say? You can't. You don't love me. How could you? You don't even love yourself. All you do is torture yourself with work you can't do anymore. No, I, I love you more than anything in the world. You're... You're my muse! I'm not. Who are you? 
What have you done with my Alice? It wasn't true. Nothing like that had ever happened. So she left him? <laughs> so just gonna say the same thing? Let's just see what this phone says. I don't know if these will hurt me or not. And here it is. Your husband refused to do as he was told. All he had to do was write what I wanted him to write. Now it's too late. It's his fault. You'll stay here forever. Now you will never get her back. Whoa. I am much older than you. Older than your first work of art. I will find a new face to wear. Uh, someone else to dream me free. I could feel Alice's presence close by. I understood what I had to do now. I knew how to write the ending to Departure. There's light and there's darkness. Cause and effect. There's guilt and there's atonement. But the scales always need to balance. Everything has a price. That's where Zane had gone wrong. There's a long journey through the night back into the light.
Okay, so now that's it. So I guess I'm still a little bit confused, but I mean, it looked like she survived. He wrote it how he wanted to in the end. But how come he wasn't there with her in the end? Like, I think, I, you know what, there's, I did see that there was, I believe, a DLC for this. So I'm probably gonna have to play that, I imagine. But it looks like we got a good ending, sort of. I don't know, that FBI agent and they get back still looking kind of sus back there behind Rose, the, you know, still looking a little scared, but Alice survived. We wrote it the way we wanted to. That was a great game. I'm, I'm definitely going to play the DLC, I guess, to get a better understanding of the complete end, maybe? I'm not sure. But let me know what you guys think. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope I see you guys on whatever I decide to play next. <laughs> Bye for now.